Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Thanks again for joining us in this uh, new stream video uh, discussing nothing else than the Holy Land. What is the Holy Land? Well, we're going to have a guest here called by the name of Santos Bonacci, and I hope you all get to enjoy his, his talk. Um, again, this information is brought to you simply for the purpose of passing information along. I don't want to convince anybody of anything, but if this information kind of like clicks in your head or it feels something special inside you, then, you know, do some more research on it. Again, I don't want to sway anybody one way or another. It's just information that's there. You can take it for whatever it's worth. Um, I do want to say that um, as soon as he comes in, I guess we'll plug him in here for you. But uh, good information he's got. And this information, I believe he first presented it back in... Uh, 2012, something like October back then, I think, I believe, or April, I forget exactly the date, but anyhow, good information. Uh, I also have links on on him on the third tab over from uh, um, comment.isaniola.com, and so if you go to that third tab to the uh, right, click on it, you'll find some of his links there. Actually, there's a link there that has all his, uh, most of his videos there, and which one of them will be part of this here. But anyhow, um, it's... Uh, starting to stream here in a minute now. So with that said, um, let me go ahead and plug us in, and we should be able to listen to about maybe five minutes of this uh, lecture. We'll see you back in a few minutes. Stories. And you've heard them before. You've heard them in fairy tales, when you're a little child in school, nursery rhymes. You've heard the story in the mythologies, the fairy tales, the gospels, the legends, and all of those great classical books like the Bible. And um, each culture has their stories. And it's all one story. You see, Little Red Riding Hood is the sun. And uh, as the sun sets in the western horizon, so let's take that to be the east and that's the west over there, the ancients always placed the scales of Libra at the western sunset, where from time to time the sun sets with its red colour. And um, <clears throat> the scales of Libra begin right at the horizon and go for 30 degrees below the horizon. Just like this. These are signs. This line here would be the uh, this line here would be the horizon, and um, this one here. And there's the scales of Libra. So, <clears throat> when Little Red Riding Hood, the sun, sets, you see, Mama tells Little Red Riding Hood, don't you stop and talk to anybody. You go direct. Because that's what the sun does. Out of all the planets in the sky, in the solar system that we can see, the seven, 
The sun is the only one that goes direct. The moon does too, but she waxes and wanes. Whereas the sun is always faithful and true. Jupiter, retrogrades. Saturn, retrogrades. But little old uh, Red Riding Hood goes direct. You see, but the wolf comes along. And the wolf happens to be Lupus, one of the deacons of Libra, the scales of justice, where the sun dies every day when it sets on the horizon in the west. The Egyptians called that dying. They called it westing. That's why they put all their uh, different names, different cultures. But they all originated from one common origin. According to John Thackeray Bunce, in fairy tales, their origin and meaning. One common origin. And when you study these stories, and you, you study the, the, uh, the, um, the words, you will see that clearly. It only takes a little bit of research. The uh, wicked stepsisters would be the cloud, and the stepmother would be the night. What have we got over here? Nursery rhymes. Song of Sixpence. Four and twenty blackbirds are the four and twenty hours. And the pie that holds them is the underlying earth. Covered with the overreaching sky. How true a touch of nature it is that when the pie is opened, that is, the day breaks, the birds begin to sing, the king is the sun, and his counting out the money is pouring out the sunshine, the golden shower of Danath. The queen is the moon, and her transparent honey, the moonlight. The maid is the rosy-fingered dawn who rises before the sun. Her master, and hangs out the clouds, his clothes across the sky. The particular blackbird who so tragically ends the tale by snipping off her nose is the hour of sunrise. Tom Thumb, Jonah, Little Red Riding Hood, as I said, <coughs> Uh, John Thackeray Bunce again, Little Red Riding Hood, as it is told in our nursery tales, is the evening sun, which is always described as red or golden. The old grandmother is the earth, to whom the rays of the sun bring warmth and comfort. The wolf, which is a well-known figure for the clouds of black and blackness of night, is the dragon in another form. And that is just part of Santos Bonacci's uh, information he passes on. Um, again, you have to watch the whole thing. It's a long, it's almost like an hour and 30 minutes long. And so he talks about all the nursery rhymes that we've ever read, all the nursery rhymes we ever came across. And I don't know if you ever thought about it, but I thought about it many times. You know, why? Every time I saw that picture, or the Virgin Mary with the moon underneath her feet and the stars around it. And I always wondered, what is that about? I remember asking Mother what that was about. She couldn't give me an answer. But it does make you wonder exactly why... Give me a second. Why the icons were put there. Why it was all the way it was. I mean, I never... As a child, as a kid, I never understood it. And it wasn't until I turned 50 years old that I started to read and study all this information. And I started to understand. And so when I came across Santos Bonacci and he was giving me his information, I'm sitting there thinking, oh, huh. The old Oprah Winfrey aha uh -huh moment. I thought, my God, this is it. Now we understand what we're talking about here. So with that said, again, I'm going to put a stop here. The chat room line, it should pop open. If it does, then we'll, we'll talk about it. Otherwise, uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for, for showing up, whoever showed up. If not, uh, you can't. That's just perfectly fine, too. So I'm going to run into 10 minutes here, so I have to stop this and uh, continue the conversation.
in person uh, when we meet or uh, we can chat along here as it, as it pops up. I'll see you guys. Good day.